Welcome to Face the Ace. I'm Steve Sherpa. Most people have played a little bit of poker before. Tonight, our qualifiers will get a chance to do what most people haven't done. Play Texas Hold'em for a million dollars. From Jonestown, Pennsylvania, we have a man who served in both the Marines and the Navy. He's cool under fire, and he can prove it because he was shot while serving. And he might show us where. Let's meet Mr. Jonathan Nygaard. Jonathan, how are you, man? What's up, man? Good to see you, big daddy. All right. How you feeling? I feel good. Feel so good. you're from Jonestown? Yeah. Obviously, you didn't drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> It's a little joke here. Come on, stay over here. Don't get far away. Stay close to me. Now, are you a Red Sox fan? Is that why you're wearing a Boston hat, which I assume? I really just hate the Yankees. You hate the Yankees, so you're wearing a Red Sox hat, and you're from Pennsylvania. Right. So what team do you like? I like the Phillies. You like the Phillies, but you're wearing a Red Sox hat. Right. That makes absolutely no sense to me, but hey, well. what do I know? So if you win the million dollars, what are you going to do with it? Well, I guess I'll uh, give some to my mom, my sister, and then uh, get a car. That's very nice of you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. So, Jonathan, you know how we do things here, right? Yeah. You know, three matches, three payouts, 40000 200000 and $1 million. Win a match, and you can keep the money, or you can risk it and go for more. Right. If you win three in a row, a $1 million, my friend, is yours. If you lose at any point, kiss the cash goodbye. Make sense? Yep. You ready? You know what we're doing here, right? Yeah. Okay, behind those doors are four pros ready to end your dream of being a millionaire. It's time to pick one. For $40,000, which ace is it going to be, my friend? Well, I got the ace of spades on my back, so spades. Spade. He's going to pick the ace of spades, the beautiful Megan from Hawaii. You ever been to Hawaii? Yeah. They all look like Megan over there. Did you know that? I know. Yeah. Tell you, tell, come on. <laughs> You're looking at her like she's got a pork chop around her neck. Take it easy. <laughs> You're starting to drool on me, my friend. <laughs> All right. He's a 33-year-old pro from Las Vegas by way of Atlantic City. He's won seven World Series of poker bracelets, including two in 2009. Some people call him the best all-around poker player in the world. Your ace is... Megan. Mr. Phil Ivey! Mr. Phil Ivey! Come on over. Good to see you, Phil. Hey, Thanks up? for joining us. What's going this on? is Jonathan. Come take a seat, guys. <laughs> Phil Ivey. Well, I don't know, Jonathan. I don't think this is the guy you really wanted to play, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. You want right. to play against the best. I want the best. And and Phil, I'll tell you what, everyone we talk to say you're the best. You are the absolute best. Well, thank you. And what do you think about Jonathan? You gonna dispose of him in a hurry? Or? I don't know. He looks kind of wild. Right? Well, he might jump over the table. Yeah, after yeah. You. I'm a little nervous. All right, don't worry. I got you back. Thank you. Thank I you. got you. I'm here for you, Jonathan, my friend. It's time to face the ace. Good luck to you. And as the $40,000 match gets underway, poker director Ali Najad will briefly go over the blinds and starting stacks. All right, gentlemen, the blinds are going to start at two and 400. Each of you have 20,000 in chips. Re-raise. Re-raise, the thousands, Jonathan, you're playing for $40,000. Good luck. Call. We're going to get this over quick, I guess, huh? That's the plan. Well, Jonathan Nygaard with pocket aces in the very first hand. He re-raises. Flop is jack, nine, four, a couple of diamonds. Nygaard's ace is still way out in front. A bet of 4,500 from the qualifier. Ivy quickly tosses his ace high away. First pot of the night over to Nygaard. Oops. Tough draw, huh? Yeah. Maybe I had a tough draw. 
Where are you staying at? Golden Nugget. Downtown. Yeah. Golden Nugget, referred to as the birthplace of modern poker. I walked over to Binion's. But I see your name on the wall up there. There's your picture. For the World Series. No, my name's, I'm not on the, I don't have a picture on the wall there, do I? No, 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 you don't. That's what I'm saying. I see your name when you're oh, gonna, no. uh -huh. when you're gonna win one. This year. Oh, yeah? All right. I hope. Phil may be right. He's made the final table of this year's main event. What are you doing for fun out here? What am I doing for fun? Yeah. Gambling and drinking. Where's the drink? Huh? I don't know. I got one earlier, but that was it. Another big pair for a qualifier. And his trap works again. Ivy raises, and Nygaard puts in a raise of his own to 5,400. Here, I'm all in. My call. Ivy commits all his chips with ace four off suit. Nygaard calls immediately. Told you it was going to be quick. And our qualifier might be in a position to benefit from a rare misstep by the great Phil Ivey. Ali Najah, what do we have here, my friend? Well, Steve, it looks like pocket queens for our qualifier, Jonathan Nygaard. He's got the best hand against Phil Ivey, who holds ace four off suit. And he's at risk. Jonathan Nygaard poised for the 40K. Jonathan, what are you thinking? What's going through that head of yours, my friend? Let's pick up your, let's see your eyes a little ah. bit. Give me a look. What's happening? Don't let me get unlucky. That's You're feeling it. good now? Okay, I'll leave yeah, you alone. I feel good. I feel good. Concentrating. See what Phil, I'm, you gave I'm, him a, the intense stare once in a while. I, I don't see how I could lose this hand. There you go. That's why he's the best. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's why he's the best. There you go. And the flop. Jonathan can't oh. stand to watch. Flop is two jacks and an eight. Pocket queen still looking good for Jonathan Nygaard. I don't want to say anything because he thinks I'm going to jinx him, and that's the last thing I want to do. End the turn. Turn nope. is a three of hearts. If Jonathan Nygaard can avoid one of three aces left in the deck, his pocket queens are going to earn him $40,000. And the river. Oh, seven of diamonds. Jonathan Nygaard has won $40,000. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. Oh, oh. Jonathan Nygaard knocked out the absolute best right here. What do you have to say? Anything? Uh, you can't even speak. You're speechless. Yeah, I sort of am. I mean, he's the best. He's Phil, the best. What, what do you think? Uh, Is he I, a real player? I know yeah, he didn't sure. play for all that long. Yeah, he's got right. a shot to win the million? Of course he does. You think so? Yeah, I think he has a real good shot. He played real aggressive, and, you know, I, yeah, I, I thought he didn't have too much of a hand, and I moved all in. I was wrong. Do you think he was talking some trash earlier? I heard him say a little something. What do you think? No, no, no. He just had he's a He's okay? Fun. Yeah, he's cool. Because he got hit with friendly uh, fire. I don't uh, want you to hit him. Uh, I'm in between you here, uh, all right? Okay. So Jonathan takes his first step towards the million dollars as he takes out one of the best in the game with ease. One ace down, two left to go. Back in a moment. Welcome back to Face the Ace. He's been shot by Friendly Fire, so this might not phase him at all. Jonathan Nygaard just beat Phil Ivey and needs to decide whether to keep 40000 or play a second ace for $200,000. So, Jonathan, what's it going to be? You got $40,000 right now. You said if you want some money, you were going to give some to your mom and your sister. You said you were going to buy a car. What's it going to be? You're going to go home with 40000 or you're going to go for the $200,000? Oh, it's a big decision. Yeah, I know. I um, want you to make the right decision, the one you want. It's tougher than the decision I thought. I'm sure it is. So, uh... I'm gonna take the money. You're gonna take the money? Yeah. You're gonna go home with the $40,000? Yeah. That's your decision. Congratulations, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Do right for your mom and your sister. Good for you, my friend. Yeah. OK, 
Okay. Now, here's a guy who's single. He drives a truck and lives at home with his mother and sister. If he wins, he's going to buy them each a condo so he could get them the heck out of his house. From Midlothian, Illinois, let's bring out Don Topol. Don, come on out, baby. Don Topol. There he is. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good to see you, man. How's everything going? Everything's great. Everything's so, so, great. So, so let, me, let me get this straight now. You live with your mother and sister. Mm -hmm. It's your house. My house, right. And you live in the basement. I'm in the basement, yes. They live upstairs, and they get on you because they say you're lazy. That's right. Now, are you lazy? I'm extremely lazy, yes. And what do you do down in the basement, if you don't mind? I, I, I know uh, you're not working out down there. No, I'm not working out. No, that's, that's, that's a Something good one. Something tells no. me there's a lot of snacks involved down there. There's a lot of snacks and a 50-inch TV. That's what do you watch on TV? Um, the White Sox, mostly. That's okay, my team. White, so White yep. Sox fan. Yep, and poker, of course. And they're uh, yelling down, Don! Mow the lawn, exactly. you lazy slob! Get off your butt, do something. Is that yeah, what they do? That's pretty much it, yeah. And does she cook for you, your mom? Yes, yeah, she does. Well, she's doing she a pretty damn she's good job at that. She's a great cook. <laughs> she's a great cook. And if uh, you're going to buy them each a condo to get them out, you're going to yes. stay in the house. I'm staying in the house. If right. you win the million, you're staying in the basement. I'm oh, yeah, I'll stay in the basement. I like it in the basement. Okay, behind our four doors are four pros. They're probably better players than you, but anything can happen. For your $40,000 match, which ace is it going to be? I'm going to go with the ace of diamonds. The ace of diamonds. The lovely Megan. Megan, you wouldn't go in his basement, would you? I like a little bit of a view. <laughs> <laughs> That's a polite way to put it. She's nice. Yeah, she's nice. <laughs> Get a view of the backyard. What's the matter again? OK, he's a 33-year-old pro from Las Vegas. He's won one World Series of Poker Bracelet and was named 2008. World Series of Poker Player of the Year. He's one of the best athletes you'll find on the felt. Your ace is... Megan? E-Dog! Right. Eric Lindgren! Right. E-Dog! Hi, Eric. Right, What's right. going on, buddy? Good to meet you. Uh -huh. Good to meet you. Thank you. Pleasure nice to meet you. Good to see you, my man. friend. Come on down, guys. Very right. nice. Very nice. Ooh. Eric, good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you, Steve. So, are you familiar with this uh, gentleman? Yes, I am. Are you a fan of his? You watch I'm him? a big fan of Eric's. Yes, I am. Are you just a little scared now? No, no. Not, I'm not really scared, no. You're not scared? You're feeling no. pretty good? You, you seem don't. pretty relaxed. I am pretty relaxed. This is the first time you're on TV? Yes, it is. You seem pretty relaxed. And Eric, what I'm do you think about this guy? <laughs> what, what, what I'm nervous as hell. Look at what, what, what He's you? relaxed. I'm scared. <laughs> see what happens. You ready to Sounds go? Sounds good to me. I'm All ready. Don, right. are you ready to face the ace? I'm ready. All right, Don. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Well, qualifiers play for their own bankrolls while our poker pros are playing for the charities of their choice. For $40,000, right. Dom, we're going to get the action started with the blinds at two and 400. All right. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Each of you guys are going to start with 20,000 in chips. Good luck to you both. Check it. Check. Both players check. Deuce of hearts on the turn. Check again. Well, Topol's hand will hold up 75% of the time, but any of the cards on the top of your screen could deliver a win for Lindgren. Well, I hate to do this to you on the first hand. I gotta raise it. 21. 2100. An early tough decision for Don. He has top pair with the jack kicker, but he's just been check raised by the pro. Okay. So after a brief deliberation, Don makes the call. Pot of 5,000 into the river. And Lindgren makes his straight. He hits one of his 11 outs. 4,000. Hmm. That's an ugly board. I'm a full. I got there on you. I mean, it's yeah. straight. First pot over to the pro. I was gambling. He was right. <laughs> and Lindgren shows his straight. Baseball fan? Yeah. White Sox yeah, or White Cubs? Sox, yeah. White Sox? Yeah. Oh, now I really like you. There you go. See? The first guy in Vegas I met that said that. Really? Yeah. yeah my friend friends taught me to hate the Cubs, so. Good. Good. I like you already, Eric. Even though I tried to bluff you on the turn and, <laughs> and got there? All right. Suited Ace Deuce for Lindgren. He'll make a minimum raise. The call. Topol makes the call with Queen Deuce suited. And no help on the flop for the qualifier. Lindgren still with the best hand. 
turn doesn't change anything. We're checking it. Check. And the river puts trips on the board. Check. Check it. Got check, check, and okay. Lindgren wins with ace high. That's how it's going to go? You're just going to just run me right over? Or? Yeah, I should have warned you. <laughs> I guess i got to win a few pots if I'm going to yeah. take you down, that's, you that's think? it's going to help. Yeah. Maybe two, just one double up and then yeah. one all in. <laughs> that's my plan. Poker right. pro Eric Lindgren's won two in a row to start this $40,000 match. Topol picks up queen six offsuit and limps in. Oh, make it 500 more. Raise to nine. Lindgren makes it 900 with pocket aces and Topol calls with no hesitation. And after the flop, Lindgren's aces are still best. 1,000. Really? Topol gives it some thought. Likely doesn't want to get pushed around anymore by the pro. It's a good fold. Had the weapons. Wow. Nice hand. Yeah, and Lindgren again shows him his hand. At least we're going easy on me there. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have anything, I guess. No. That was a good miss. Yes, it was. Three in a row for Lindgren. Topol trails by 10,000. Call. And Lindgren calls with 6-7 off suit. Topol sees his best hand so far. King Jack suited. Let me raise. 1,000. 1,400. All right. See a flop. And now the qualifier playing aggressor. Topol bumps it up and Lindgren calls. Huge flop for Topol. Top pair and a flush draw, and he checks. Check it. Topol makes two pair. 22. Good enough to bet out 2,200. Couple queens over there, huh? Tens? What do you got? What you got? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it to you. Lindgren right. makes the wise fold. Topol wins his first pot. This will not be a shutout, regardless of what happens. Topol's check on the flop doesn't earn him any extra chips, however. What do you like to play if you're playing the cash game? Uh, Bellagio is a, yeah. a good spot. Yeah. I've never played over there. Yeah, it's, they got the back room. Uh, big games are going with Doyle, uh, Ivy. Nice. All, all the guys back there. I'll be back there. Gambling when, when fortunes. Yeah, you win this million. You know, we'll just you uh, let me we'll send it? you right over to Bellagio. Yeah, I bet huh? you will. I'll leave town with nothing but a barrel around me. Topa looking in on ace nine. Qualifier starting to find some cards. Queen eight for Lingren. Twelve is reason. He'll call the additional eight hundred. Flop misses both players. Topol's ace high still out in front. 21. 21. Topol makes a bet of 2,100. Let's go to 6,000. Raise to 6,000. Ooh, not what Topol was looking for. Lingren check raises to 6,000. That's just mean. It's cruelty. <laughs> and Lindgren doesn't show his hand this time as Ali Najat is back with a change. Boys, it's time for the blinds to go up. We're going to move them to four and 800 now. Really? He's not taking my chips fast enough? Don, you still got a shot. So uh, I guess I got to put more out here then. All right, blinds up, which usually means more action to come. Right now, Lindgren has a two to one chip lead over the qualifier. Oh. Suited ace five, and Lindgren calls the 400. A bigger ace for Topol. Two thousand more. He raises and makes it twenty-eight hundred total. All right, I'm all in. All in. Really? After limping in on the button, Don made it two thousand more to go. You know you can see a card. And Eric has moved all in and announced that Don can see a card. You see a card before I call? Yeah, of course. You can see a card anytime you want. Left or right? Give me the left one. Which was it? That one. <laughs> you want this one That's the one I want. All right. Oops. <laughs> Shows him the five of clubs. This one's better. I swear to God, this one's better. This should be an automatic call for Don now. On my life. This is a better card. Eric's shown Don the five of we clubs. We should mention that these two players agreed before the match that they would show each other one card one time upon request. I'm going to call. Call. 
Don says, call. Eric shows him the ace five suited, All and right, Don hand, shows Don, the call. ace nine suited. Don took his time, but it was an easy call How are you here. feeling there, Don? We're feeling good. We're feeling good. Feeling all right? I'm feeling good. Want me, to, clubs. want me to call order your pizza? Would you? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what happens. And the flop. No bad beats. It's 10 That's 72. That's a, That's a pretty good flop. <laughs> With two diamonds, Steve, Don's added a flush draw to the best hand. Eric, how you feeling? What, what's happening? I'm feeling like I'm a little behind. Behind. <laughs> you don't seem the least bit nervous. I mean, well, you know, I still got chips and we can still play on, so I don't mind if he wins this one, but I'm going to win this match. All right, uh -oh. and the turn. He sounds confident, doesn't he? <laughs> He's very confident. Oh! Oh! The turn is the five of spades, Steve. Eric now has the best hand. Don is going to need to hit a nine or a diamond oh. to win this oh, pot and stay like alive. That. that would be dirty. I need a diamond. I need a diamond. I think it's there. I think it's there. And the river. I'm ready to see that. I'm ready to see that diamond. The river yes. is a diamond. The jack of diamonds. <laughs> very nice. Don doubles up and stays alive, Steve. He's very confident the whole time. <laughs> I knew it was there. I knew it was there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order you a pizza Go now. Would you? Would you I'll be back. I'll Thanks. be back. <laughs> Oh, what a river. That was Thanks a for the sweat, Eric. Thanks for the sweat. Hey, hey you picked the right <laughs> card to see, huh? I did. That was, that was very lucky. <laughs> the two outer on the turn had Eric fired up and Don on the brink of elimination, but our qualifier was saved by a diamond on the river. His chance for 40 grand is still alive. Welcome back to Face the Ace. His qualifier, Don Tolkien, has a 2 to 1 chip lead. It doesn't really matter what happens. This, is, this has just been a great time already. Oh, that's awesome. You know? And the good news is if you lose, uh, 10000 goes to the Boys that, and Girls yeah, Club of Las Vegas. So that's great. Money's going to go to a good cause. That's great. Your big Lindgren's comeback trail starts right, with Cowboys. Go. 2000 that gonna be, It can be a new favorite raise now? <laughs> Ace tray for Topol. Good hand in heads-up play. Okay. He calls 1200 What a flop for the qualifier. Two pair aces up. 2,000. And after a topal check, Lindgren bets 2,000. Don't be thinking any evil thoughts over there. I usually don't have evil thoughts in my head, but they're creeping in right now. 2,000's a bet? Let's make it 8,000. Raise to eight. Well, oh, you are evil. Are you bluffing me? I never bluff Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face of a bluffer. I gotta tell you. That was a bad flop for me, though. Poker pro Eric Lindgren isn't lying, and ace generally not the best card when you've got pocket kings. You wanna see one? Yeah, we'll see one, but I'm gonna let you pick which one you wanna show me. You get really? to pick, yeah. All right. So Lindgren using his one time option to see a card, and he sees a tray. That doesn't really help me much. That's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to lay him down. Good right. fold from Lindgren as Don increases down. his chip lead. I hope so. Kings are like ace magnets, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Getting more hands here than I got the whole World Series of Poker. <laughs> Is it right? <laughs> it's a quick one for you? <laughs> yeah, it was quick. No, that's thanks. Yeah. It would have been tough for Eric Lindgren to follow up his 2008 when he was World Series of Poker Player of the Year. Don Topol with a 3 to 1 chip advantage. I'll go 2,000. And he makes a 2,000 with Jack 5 suited. All right, call that. Eric defending his big blind. Oh, it's something for everybody Check. on the flop. Lindgren with top pair, Topol with a flush draw. 35. I'm all in. I haven't get it in there yet. <laughs> it's gonna be another uh, another five thousand. Oh, fifty one. Another five. Another fifty one. If you want to call. Yeah, hey, I'll call. All right. I'm in there already. I can't fold now. I got nothing but a draw. All right. Five Qualifier nine, so. Don Topol has a chance if he can catch one of the twelve cards at the top of your so screen to win forty thousand dollars. You know what? You're an honest man, and I appreciate that. 
We're back at it, Steve. Back at it, you guys. <laughs> Ali, what's going on, my friend? Well, it looks like Eric has flopped two pair, nines and deuces. He's in the lead, but our qualifier, Don Topol, has him covered. And as a jack high flush draw, he's looking for a heart or a jack. Any thoughts? I think I got myself uh, caught with my hand in the cookie jar here. <laughs> we'll see. And the turn? The oh, turn is the four of hearts, <laughs> but game, it's not man. over yet, Steve. Oh, yeah. Don's got the best yeah. hand. He's that much closer to $40,000, but if a deuce or a nine hit the end, Eric's going to win this pot and double up. I like my chances, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you got that, is that pizza coming? <laughs> and the river. The river's yeah. a seven. All right. Don Topol's won $40,000. Hey, what can I say? Thank you, Eric. You got a real chance. That's a nice game, Eric. Terrific. Stay here. I'm not going anywhere. That was great. That was good. Well, my friend, you got one step out of the basement. One down, two to go. One step out. That's it. So, what, Eric, what do you think of him as a player? Did I thought he played great. He's obviously a great guy and a lot of fun. So, uh, I think he's got a great chance if he wants to move forward. This guy's a hell of a face, huh? me too. Well, I love his. Nice win for Don. $40,000 won't buy a condo for $200,000. Mike, we'll see what he decides to do right after these messages. Great game. Great guy, Don. Welcome back to Face the Ace. Decision time for our 41-year-old truck driver. Don, what's it gonna be? Walk with 40,000 or play a second ace for $200,000? Let me ask you, if you don't mind me asking, sure. you're, you're a truck driver, do you, do you mind, how much do you make a year? About 60,000. 60,000, so yeah. this is a good... Good chunk of change. Sure. Good chunk of change, 40,000 yeah, for sure you. Yeah. 200 would be over three years' work. Right. You could sit in that basement, with your feet up. Wow. Scratching your butt with your boxer shorts. Wow. <laughs> wow, you paint, a, you paint a good picture, Steve. You paint a good picture. I was going to stop at 40, but after that... I... What's it going to be, my friend? I'm going on. I'm You're going, going on! on. There he is! He's going to risk it. All right. I like that. Yeah. I like that. OK, Don. We're down to three aces behind three doors. Remember, you can't pick the ace of diamonds for your $200,000 match. Which ace do you want to play? I'm gonna go with the ace of hearts. The ace of hearts, ladies and gentlemen, the ace of hearts. Get Megan over there, wave to Megan. Hi, Megan. She might be a good luck child. She might be. <laughs> well, let me hear you say one time, Megan, would you like to see my basement? Megan, would you like to see my basement? Maybe for $200,000. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, huh? Not a girl. Not a girl. I think I'm in. Now you're talking. In. Okay, he's a 44-year-old pro from Las Vegas. He's won two World Series of Poker bracelets and two WPT titles. Your ace is... The Professor right. Howard Lederer. Very nice. Howard, nice to meet you. Howard, pleasure to meet you. I'm gonna have a sit down, my friend. Don, so what do you think of our pick here? Wow. I think I might be in some trouble, Steve. You got the professor. Are you familiar with uh, his play? I am. And was this one of the guys you would, would have preferred not to play, or? Um, I, I could say that, sure. Don, you ready? I'm ready. Don, it's time for you to face the ace. Good luck. Come on, All right. 500, 1,000. Well, Don, I can see you have a little bit of gamble in you. You've won $40,000. Congratulations on that. Thank you. You'll start with 100,000 in chips, and the blinds will be 500 and 1,000. Good luck. Far Illinois truck driver beats Howard Lederer. He wins $200,000. A loss, he walks away with nothing. That's not a good start. You might have had me. You know what, I did. <laughs> <laughs> What's the charity you're playing for? I am playing for Boys and Girls Club of Las Vegas. Nice. Uh, charity near and dear to my heart. Good. I won't feel that bad if I lose then. 
Each of our pros playing for a charity. If the pro wins, $10,000 goes to his or her charity of choice. Letterer raises on the button with 8-4 suited. Down with king-9 offsuit. 2,500 total. Call. And he makes the call. Neither player connects with the flop. After a topal check, Letterer bets roughly two-thirds of the pot. I like that flop, huh? I don't like it so much. So our qualifier doesn't play back at the pro. Pot over to the professor, who is out to an early lead. So, so how long has your living arrangement been? You know what, believe it or not, it's been 10 years. Wow. Yep. You're a stronger right, man than me. My nieces are 14 and 12, so frankly raised them. Did you say nieces? They're, it's, it's sister, mother, and two, two oh, yeah. nieces? Yeah, I live in a house full of women. Wow. Yeah, it's, fan, it's fantastic, let me tell you. Plot thickens for Topol. He's outnumbered four to one at his own Check. house. <laughs> Limp pot. Flop is king, seven, ace. Check. Howard checks. 25. Don bets 2,500. Raise sees the 25, 5,000 more. Howard makes it 7,500 total. Say my king's no good. Okay, I believe you. All right. Don won't call the extra 5,000, and Howard takes the pot. Well, to this point, okay. when Topol doesn't have a good hand, the pros have been taking advantage of him. Letterer's well-timed check raise earns him the pot. Letterer with a small chip lead in Topol's $200,000 match. And he picks up a big hand, ace-queen suited. Is 10,000 total. Well, Howard continues to put pressure on Topol, but now he's run into an even bigger hand, pocket kings for the qualifier. He doesn't know it, but our pro's in trouble. Oh, don't be reaching that deep. 30,000. No slow play from Don Topol. He raises to 30,000. 30,000 total. The Professor Howard Letterer slowed a bit. I'm all in. I call. Uh-oh. Topol's quick call lets Howard know he's probably way behind in this hand. Wow. If Don Topol wins this pot, he'll have almost all the chips on the table. If he loses, he'll walk away with nothing. Ali Najah, tell the people at home what's going on. Ed, myself. Well, I'll take a look, Steve. Couple of kings against ace-queen suited. Howard Letterer's got our qualifier, Don Topol, covered. But Don's got the best hand right now. He's going to need these kings to hold. Going to swing an ace. How you feeling? Feeling good. Feel all right? You confident? I do. I, I, it's going to hold up. It's going to hold up. I'm thinking, gonna hold up. I'm thinking spades, actually. Oh, all right. Don't do that. I'd rather get Let's by the see ace. the flop. Flop Ooh. is Jack 310. Don's kings are the best hand, but he doesn't want to see another king, Steve. Yep. That would give that Howard Letterer the nuts straight. Howard could also hit an ace to catch up. A couple of deuces coming, I think, Steve. Time spades. Spades. Yeah. spades. Yeah, no, no spades. spades. Yeah. Red deuces. And Red deuces turn. on the way. Eight of spades would be interesting. Okay. I turn like is that. a four of clubs. I like that. All Don's got to do is avoid a king or an ace to double up and get himself that much closer to 200 grand, Steve. Deuce of diamonds, Steve. Don feels pretty good. Deuce of, deuce of diamonds. In the river. Yes. It is a deuce. Oh. Don Topol is doubled yes. up. What a flap to sweat. He got it in with the best hand, and when it held up, Don Topol could celebrate. That much closer to beating a poker legend and winning $200,000.
Welcome back to Face the Ace. Only Howard Lederer and his short stack stand in the way of Don Topol in $200,000. Topol looking to make it two in a row after his $40,000 win over Eric Lindgren. And the match won't end here. Topol folds his 9-6 offsuit and gives yes, Howard the small blind. Obviously would have been moving in there. Yes, sir. I guess I have one move. I think so. All in or fold. We have the blinds at two and four thousand. Howard lamenting his short stack. He's in desperate need of a few double ups. You double up three times move. just to take the lead. Ace Trey, Howard moves all in. I call. And Don calls with pocket nines. Another big hand for Topol. As you can see, he's a 70% favorite to win this pot and $200,000 match. Holly, a couple of nines for Don Topol, who's got our ace Howard letter well covered. Howard's got ace three. Don's looking good for the 200 grand. Just what an ace. You're five cards away from $200,000. I like the sound of that. It's pretty exciting. I like the sound of that. Come on, Don. All right. Oh, oh. See the flop? Throw a nine up there just to get it over with. Flop is queen, okay. five, ten with a couple of spades. Nines out in front. Come on, baby. Very good. And the turn. Turn ah. is an ace of spades. Disaster for Don Topol. He has only one out. Nine of spades is no good. The nine of diamonds is his $200,000 card. They might be there. You never know. Is that nine going to come? Any nine of diamonds. Okay. I take all the nine of diamonds in the deck. I'll take them all right now. Is it going to come? I think it's there. I think it's I there. Think it's there. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really lucky. Let's find out. Be positive, the, right? And the river. Oh. Rivers another ace. Howard Letterer oh. doubles up with trip aces. All right, let's keep on right. playing. Good hand, Howard. Lucky hand, 15. How much more? Right. 15. Yep. That's good. The turn couldn't have been worse for the qualifier as Howard Letterer hits the best card in the deck. Welcome back to Face the Ace. Don, the basement dweller, Topol, was this close to $200,000. And Ace on the turn spoiled that. Let's get back to the match. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Lines now up to three and 6,000. Don Topol still very much in command of this match. He has a nearly five to one chip lead. Playable hand for Topol. And he calls with queen nine off suit. Howard checks in the big blind and they'll see a flop. A flush draw for Letterer, top pair for Topol. Okay, I'm all in. How call? All in. all in and a call. I have a four high, but I got a draw. Will Don Topol win the 200 grand at this point? A double up would give Howard Letterer up, comeback man. chips, but Don is in the lead. Ali Najad, this is exciting and scary. Our qualifier, Don Topol, has the best hand with queen nine. He's got a pair of nines, and he's up against Howard, who is all in with deuce four of diamonds. He's got a flush draw. Howard, any thoughts at the moment? Uh, diamond? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> and the turn. The turn okay. is a three of hearts. Howard okay. can also hit a five now to win the pot. That would give him a straight. Any other card, and Don Topol's gonna pick up 200 grand. $200,000. I, I feel it, I feel it. How about the five of diamonds, just to make it? Just to rub it in? Just to, yeah. This guy's got a mean streak in him, doesn't he? One card away from the million dollar round. Here we go. Let's do it. And the river? Nelson? Let's do it. It's an yes. ace. Don Topol yes. wins $200,000. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Howard. Wow. Thank you, Thank you. Howard, stay here a second. $200,000. Wow, my friend. Congratulations Thank you. Thank to you. you. Thank wow. You. Now, you said you wanted to buy your mom and your sister a condo. That's right. 
Wow. We're a little closer to that. We're getting there. We're wow. getting there. Howard, let me ask you, uh, as the great pro that you are, if you were Don the Basement Dweller Topol, as we call him here, <laughs> would you go for the million dollars? <clears throat> Absolutely, yeah. You I, would. There, there's no chance that he, um, I mean, just watching how he plays, he plays well. He's got a reasonable chance. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say he's going to be better than the ace he's going to meet, but he's going to certainly be close enough that I think he should take the gamble. Good advice from the professor, Howard Letterer. Two in a he's row done. for Don. First E Dog, now the professor. Is a million dollars in his future. Back with Don's decision in a moment. Welcome back to Face the Ace, Don Topol, with a really tough, tough, tough decision. Take the $200,000 or go for the million. Don, do you know what a million dollars looks like? I do not. It's right there. Right there, and I don't mean Megan. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a million. Let's recap what you've done. You beat E-Dog. You beat the professor. One more ace for a million. So, Don, what's it going to be? $200,000, or are you going to go for the million dollars? There is light at the end of the tunnel. I see it. And it's the it. basement and where you live. <laughs> oh, did you call man. your mother? Did you tell her to stop packing? I, I did not, no. No, not yet. Um, 200000 is a lot of money. If you go for the million dollars and lose, you get nothing. If you walk now, you get $200,000. I'm gonna go for the million. You're gonna go for the million dollars. He's gonna go for the million dollars. Wow. He's going for the million dollars. Okay, Don, you're gonna have to wait. We'll see your million dollar match next time on Face the Ace. Fali Najat and Megan Abrigo. I'm Steve Sharippa. Good night. This is unbelievable. Don Topo going for the million dollars. I was getting beat pretty bad there. I just got lucky. That's all it was. Don yes. Topol's won $40,000. 40 grand would have been great. 200 grand's better. Um, I'm here to gamble. The Ace of Hearts. Howard Letter came through the door, and my heart sank a little bit. $200,000. This is a life-changing decision. 200000 is enough to change somebody's life. A million would, would really do it, though. One of the biggest moments of Don's life. I'm going to go with the Ace of Clubs. Accommodations for Face the Ace provided by the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas.